Who needs to throw the ball when you arguably have the best running game in the Big Ten? Not the Michigan Wolverines. 343 yards of rushing for Michigan. This is Jim Harbaugh football. Two tight ends, fullbacks, running game, pound it up the middle and dare them to stop the run. When you look at the box score of this football game, you say, well, Cade McNamara needs to throw the ball more. Michigan needs more balance in their offense. 7 of 15, 44 yards isn't going to cut it against Wisconsin, against Penn State, against Ohio State. Well, yeah, that may be true, but in this particular game, when you rush for nearly 350 yards, you didn't need to throw it a lot with Cade McNamara. It would have been nice to kind of see him go play fake and over the top a little bit, but this is going to be Michigan's offense as the season progresses. Blake Corum is electric. When he touches the football, you think anything can happen. He's taken long runs to the house in both of these first two games against Western Michigan and Washington. It's so exciting to watch him run the football, just a sophomore in that backfield. And then you see the thunder with Hassan Haskins running the football. That's a dangerous combination. Saw some weaknesses in the secondary. Dylan Morris threw uh, for 293 yards, did not throw an interception. I did not think that that would happen. I thought he was going to make mistakes. Michigan pass rush was going to get in there and force him to do some things. But big credit, big props to that freshman quarterback, Dylan Morris, for hanging in there and making some plays that at least make it interesting in the second half of that football game. This is a team right now that knows their identity. Something Michigan teams maybe haven't been able to say about themselves for a very long time. Jim Harbaugh teams are at their best when they're physical and they're running the football very well. And then that sets up quarterback play to push the ball down the field after that. Let's see if Michigan can get a little bit healthier. Dalen Baldwin, the wide receiver, you got to get him into the fold. The transfer from Jackson State, he's expected once healthy and on the mend to be the top guy to replace Ronnie Bell, who's out for the season. If that can happen, I think they'll have a one more threat in that passing game when they need it. They didn't need it against the Washington Huskies. I really believe this is a Big Ten team that's going to be in every single game for the remainder of their schedule. I see they stack up very well against a lot of these teams. I know it's early in the season, but that was an impressive performance against a good Washington defense. How they stuck to their game plan, ran the football at will. At will. There was a drive where they ran the ball all eight plays all the way into the end zone for a Blake Corum touchdown. This is their identity, and I think teams are going to have a tough time stopping it. Things are looking great in Ann Arbor, Michigan. What are your thoughts on this big Michigan victory over the Washington Huskies? Should we slow down a little bit? Or is this the Michigan you have wanted to see for a very long time? Physical, run the ball between the tackles. It's Jim Harbaugh football, baby. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We upload Big Ten content daily. Name another YouTube channel that does that. I'll wait. All right, we'll see you next time.